On this edition of NSFW, we are joined by Iaz of Tech News Today. We play a game called That Could Be My Next Tweet or Little Wayne, in which we match the popular new Twitter meme versus the multi-platinum recording artist and have Iaz choose which is which. We also play What Is Iaz Watching Movie Play Video and Iaz has to describe what's going on and it's a trial by fire. Will Iaz survive? You can find out on this edition of NSFW. <laughs> Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 71 for April 12, 2011. Typewriter underpants adjustment. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com slash NSFW and get on with your two-week trial. Find out how awesome Squarespace really is. Guess we all got to make this sad, so I don't really want to talk about it. But I will. You know what makes me sad when I make a perfect sandwich? Ham and twists some mayonnaise on brands of pickles and chips. And then my hand slips and I walk as it flips and it falls and it hits the planet. I be like, shit, fuck ass, god damn, god damn it. Why is this always happen to me? I can't stand it. I just don't have enough ingredients to make another old oh, brother. I guess I was bone to just suck. What makes you sad? When I'm sitting all alone by the phone, wishing the phone would turn into gold, but it for some reason statues here we go again i love my favorite pen as i stand and take shots at me every chance he can plus uncle sam added another two cents to the price of stamps i went swimming after eating man and i don't like these grams plus i didn't get a workers original from my grand i went to ikea to get a pillow but left with lamb the electrodes are broken on my favorite nipple cramps like my life a wheelchair and there ain't no way it makes you sad <laughs> all right I say it's go time. It's time to rock this bad business. You've stumbled into the best worst thing to ever happen to the entire Webernets. It's the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets. It's none other but the NSFW. I'm your host, little old Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my vaguely Muppet-like co-host, the olive-skinned and always uh, ingenuine Justin Robert Young. How are you doing, J.R. Weibels? Uh, Brian, I'm very, very, very excited for this episode, unlike any of the others. In fact, every time that I've started an SMW episode and said I was really excited, I was lying. I was dying of boredom. I don't My believe My life that. was expiring one that. second at a time. That's not true. That's impossible. No. I hated it. I hated the guests, and I hated the shows, and I hated the bits until tonight. Really? Brian. What's yes. so special about tonight? Until tonight, because we have... One of the newest additions to the Twit lineup. You know him from Tech News Today. Ayaz Akhtar. Ayaz! Right there live at the Twit Cottage. What's going on, Professor Ayaz? Uh, nothing. I'm on this internet show right now. Are you, you guys, you ever heard of this thing? NSFW? Something about nuggets, shakes, fries, Wookiees? I don't know. <laughs> no. That's but I look forward one. to watching it eventually. Okay. I hear amazing things about it. Apparently won an award on the iTunes once upon a time. So we're very excited. Maybe it'll turn into something for the boys down the road. Hey, uh, Justin, what are we up to today, man? Brian, we have a lot of awesome, awesome things on the docket, including... Uh, Ayaz, you are new to Tech News today. Uh, well, Brian, of course, for the audio listeners, has just flashed a picture of Brian on the head of a... Uh, what, what I could only you know, explain to you as a very flamboyant... Uh, anthropomorphized adaptation of a unicorn. <laughs> uh, yes, well, and I'm sorry. When you said we have exciting things coming up today, my finger slipped, and I assume that's what you were about to promote. Was that Photoshop that somebody created? No, said although did. I'm sure that we have many uh, video viewers now who have excited things coming up uh, after watching <laughs> that particular uh, picture. <laughs> Uh, which you can you can download uh, the BBpedia. Go ahead over to the BBpedia for this uh, for this episode. And you'll be able to see that picture in all its glory. But on the episode itself, what we have is a return to our What Are You Watching segment. Brian, we got a lot of videos on this, uh, on, on this, on this show, uh, not unlike your picture, 
that are great for the video listeners, not so great for the audio listeners. No, no, we got to clue them in. It's like kind of like a closed captioning, but for people who can't see, there's got to be a word, open captioning, we'll call it. Yes, uh, optioning. Well, is well, yes, We're uh, going to go to the optioning. We'll, we'll call it closed captcha, where you have to look at it and <laughs> say what it is, and then if you do it twice, it's a closed recaptcha. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, we're going to show Ayaz a video that is something that we is useless to the audio listeners. We're going to have him explain what is going on. If you remember, we did this once with Sarah Lane. To hilarious effect, you're going to want to stay for that. And also, because you are new to Tech News today, Ayaz, uh, we're going to run you through a little, you know, kind of like, like a fire drill, you know. Uh, hopefully okay. you'll never have to prepare for this amount of breaking news. But we're going to run some fake stories by you just to see how you handle it. Make sure you're on your toes. I mean, are you up to the challenge? I don't think, I mean, you, you don't see, you seem rather non, non-impressed, non non-plussed. You, you're, you're plussed is what you look like. Oh, no, I'm, I'm absolutely and utterly terrified, clearly. See? See, that's wow. Iceman. You know, he's, he's got journalist no, size. No, he's it, dead no, inside. No, no. Listen here, listen here, Val Kilmer. You ain't got to prove yourself to us. You, you save it for the field there, Captain. Yeah, man. You take it out on the NSFW gauntlet. When you come back with that dead eye permanently on your face for the rest of your days, you'll always know it was the hardest right now. We tore you down before we build you up. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> ready to start this thing. All right, but first... What we have is uh, today on Twitter, one of the things that we like to do here on NSFW is bring you stuff before it gets, before your mom's emailing it to you. Oh, did you see what I just found on the internet? No, you're way ahead of the time. You're a settler on the far frontier when it comes to internet memes. And that's why we're bringing you, that can be my next tweet. Brian, you seen this? Uh, you know what? I was there when me, uh, <laughs> I'm actually trying to remember how to spell the URL. It's so messed up, I can't figure out how to do it. What do, what do I do to, to get, it's like that dot can be dot my something? Brian, listen, it's very easy to spell, and I'm certainly not stalling so somebody can write it in the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's like it's delicious all over again. DL.ICIO.US. And meanwhile, the chat room is taking their lollygagging wow. time. I know. Uh, Brian, have you, have you nerd about this Obama character? <laughs> <laughs> it's all over the place. This is when the stall goes yes. into overdrive. Dot, that can dot B slash my slash next slash tweet. <laughs> Of course. Brilliantly simple. Way to go. I'm going to put it on the lower third so everyone can play along at home. Uh, yes, dot, that can be slash my next tweet is the URL. And all you have to do, you punch it in, and then you get this little, uh, this little thing here. What it does is it actually looks at all your past tweets and figures yeah. out it knows, it knows what you're into. It knows what so you're Brian, up to. Go ahead and put, put Schwood in there. All right, let's see. Let's see. Schwood Twitter Schwood. name. All right, here we go. Yo! <laughs> yeah, that could be your next tweet right there. Now go ahead. Hit it's it again. uncanny. It'll, it'll, it'll it's it uncanny. Uh, all right, my next tweet. That one fell through. <laughs> See? And obviously you're always having things fall apart. Yes, Japan. Like that one time you rooted for the disaster. Hi, I get it. I, I'm movie draft just found what you will think. <laughs> yes. Wow, that is actually a great summation of your uh, movie draft league season after last week's comedy opening. <laughs> yeah, I'm grabbing a grown-up, haha, <laughs> not at 9.30 CDT. Thanks, bro. LOL, right? <laughs> See, these are shockingly accurate. <laughs> these could, in fact, Brian, be your next tweet. Uh, hold on, I've got to <laughs> decide. Boom, I converted my tweet. Uh, let me see what what's yours say. Uh, I-S, I-Y-A-Z, right? That's right. I as would tweet, hmm, good idea, CC, you just mean. <laughs> Please correct, thanks. How many fresh ingredients in R and they are? Just have fresh ingredients and they are. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Wait, I, I wrote that yesterday. <laughs> Say, uh, thinking about enemas. That's <laughs> <laughs> one the positive words, folks. <laughs> <laughs> he gets better. Read it. I as you have to read it out. <laughs> hang on, you have hang to on. read it. Thinking about enemas and for the positive words, folks. Congrats. Can't wait. Family friendly. Nope. <laughs> See, this is stunningly accurate. This is AI come to life. By the way, this is the beginning of Skynet. This is how it begins. Like for example, I as uh, well. Apparently, you asking people <laughs> check it works like that. JK, nah. How do, oh, oh sorry, you, I didn't realize. Away. I I was a slip. There we go. Uh, read that one though. All right, today I'll join you. Just pop my next home for all settled in a lousy start to take a prank. But that? 
I've crafted Velcro suits for the family. Now it's any person, our site says. Right. I, I need that one. That's awesome. So as I you can see, Brian, that. listen, this is a brilliant service uh, that has just popped up. It's exploding on Twitter today when we're recording this on Tuesday. So what I'm going to do is, is test Ayaz and uh, see if he can find the difference between some, uh, <laughs> some other of his Twit colleagues. Um, you know, between, uh, sorry, if, if it's their next tweet as generated by this service, or is it multi-platinum Grammy-winning recording artist Lil Wayne? And his Twitter account, and what, Lil Tunchi. What do we call this game? Brian, we call this game... Is it That Can Be My Next Tweet? What is Lil Wayne? The, the, the money is the motive. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, the game is simple. I'm going to read. It's, uh, it's best of three. Uh, Ayaz, you will be judged harshly okay. on how many of the three you get right. Yes. So I'm not competing. It's all I ask. He's on the no, hot seat. No, you can, you can, you can, you can either, uh, Brian. This is like Hollywood. We'll do it Hollywood Square style. How about you can that? agree or disagree. So I have to make yes. some kind of joke that may or may not be about touching oneself, and you'll have to giggle and then titter or agree or disagree. Yes. All right. I ask. Do you understand this uh, completely overcomplicated game? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I, I I get it. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. Uh, this is uh, Lil Wayne. And your, uh, your co-host on TNT, uh, Tom Merritt. So it's One either Tom, Tom Merritt or yeah. Lil Wayne. Or Lil Wayne. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, Tom, Tom Merritt or Lil Wayne. All right, here's the first one. Treasures are meant to be found. Okay. The second one, having a flashback episode, you're not impossible. Probably not. Okay, oh, you have to be able to set... Okay, so one is definitely one and one's definitely the other? One is definitely Lil yeah. Wayne, uh, an actual tweet. One is okay. definitely Tom Merritt as generated by... Yes, that could be what, my next One more tweet. time. Hit okay. me with those again, Justin. All right. Treasures are meant to be found or having a flashback episode. You're not impossible. Probably not. I asked, listen, between you and me, buddy, one of those is a cogent sentence that was probably written by somebody who has the sense to put something together, and the other one very likely was written by Lil Wayne. That's all I'm going to say. Make your pick. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm picking the first one to be Lil Wayne, and the second one to be, that can be my next tweet, Ace Detect. All right. Justin Robert Young, is he right? Uh, Brian, if you could please bring up the, uh, the, the, the corresponding correct... Oh, actually, uh, pull up this uh, this thing right yes, here. So what I you're attached. saying is I need to scroll back up right here. Uh, yeah, here we go. We got the... Wow, I, I didn't even know. you are... Correctamundo. That's actually that's the wrong one. That's not at all the right one at all. That was the... That's the <laughs> first link that's there, though, is the problem. And, uh, I screwed up then. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm so glad that I didn't screw that up. So what was the answer? What was, what was that the was answer? correct. Yeah, he was correct. Yeah, the first one, Treasures Are Meant to Be Found, was from Little Wayne. Having a flashback episode, You're Not Impossible, Probably Not, was a, uh, an autocorrect. Or, uh, sorry, that, was, uh, that could be my next tweet. From Tom Merritt, your friend and colleague. Uh, unfortunately, go. what uh, I did, like a big fat idiot, is uh, reveal to you the winner of the next one. So we'll just have to go best one out of two. Yep, that's fine. I, I, I mean, I'm, you, you want the next one? You want to have this just, you know, just for the people who missed it, you know, just so we could say what it was. We had one of them was Love is Selfless, and the other was Actually, That's a Bookstore. Which one, uh, of course, you know, one of those written by Lil Wayne, the other one written was a tweet that could have been written next by Leo Laporte, and I'm sure you already saw the answer, but for the audio listeners at home, audio yeah. listeners, what would you have done? Were you Ayaz? <laughs> Please, everybody, pause this podcast now, and then when you've come back with the answer, restart it. <laughs> well, if you picked, actually, that's a bookstore to be Leo Laporte's next week, then you are... Correct the mundo. There we go. Right. See, look, you smoothed it over. Everything's fine here, Justin. Nobody even noticed anything was weird. Keep going. Let's hear the next one. Hey, here we go. All right. Ayaz... Here we go. This is our last one. Okay. Uh, I'm actually not going to give you who wrote this. 
So you're just going to decide. Um, true fans, today like you, I am not a human being. Even if you already have, I'd surely appreciate it. Or, getting to kidnap Mets fans? 4,823 recorded before them will have 20 minutes to make. Wow, that's a tough one. Okay, so I'm picking between a twit person and... Yes, a twit personality run through. That could be my next tweet. And multi-platinum Grammy-winning recording artist and young money con- intra- entrepreneur Lil Wayne. Lil Toonchi. I'm, pretty sure, I'm Did- pretty sure the second one is a twit person. I might know him. And the first one's got to be Lil Wayne. Justin? I've got it loaded right here. I as you, sir, are a sterling 2 and 0. Whoa! I as that was you. So you had so how did you know that that was yours? Had you actually seen it, I as? I had actually mentioned kidnapping Mets fans and it's such an unusual thing. I'd assume it was just me. Unless yeah. Lil Wayne is un- into that, which I was not aware of. What's funny is I was totally fooled. I totally thought it was like, "Oh, he's about to go on and perform." At a Mets game or something. <laughs> I totally no. fell for it. But regardless, man. Kidnapping Mets fans. Justin, uh, listen. Me, well, there we go. Hey, uh, listen. You've gotten off to a great start. Far better than we have on this show. Uh, <laughs> I as, and by we, I mean me. So you, sir, are the absolute champion of this, our first ever edition of... Is it? That can be my next tweet. For the way. The, the, the money is the motive. <laughs> Maybe we should spend more time crafting the actual bit instead of doing a sound there, Justin. <laughs> oh, no, it's, a, it's a great bit. No, I and, loved it. Uh, seriously, uh, seriously, I love this. That could be my next tweet. It's, it's just close enough to reality that, uh, that anything that fools me into thinking I'm actually seeing a computer be as smart as a person is way awesome. Hey, man, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to stop. Trying to be funny for all the audio listeners. I just want to watch a video. That's funny. It's like, is there stop any funny, uh, Brian, uh, awesome videos? Brian, what? Stop it right now before what? I metaphorically throw you in front of a circus animal and have it devour you. Why? Why would you do that? Why? Why? Why are you saying that? Because the audio listeners are the lifeblood of this show. You can't just walk up to them and spit in their face and then throw their grandma down a well. Um, okay. Uh, uh, well, Metaphorically. Well, then how, how on earth do you propose that we handle this then, Justin? Brian, we have a hilarious video, do we not? Yes. Yes, we do. All right. This video is, this video is great. We want everybody to be a part of it. However, we have we, we brought on, okay, I didn't want to say anything about it, but we brought on a, a legendary broadcaster to explain exactly what is going on on this video for all the audio listeners, ladies and gentlemen, Ayaz. No way! Round of applause. There we go. Holy cow, Ayaz. So he's going to actually this. read to everyone what, what they're missing on screen. Okay, for if you haven't played the game before, here's what you do. All you have to do is describe what are you watching. All right, you can handle that? Uh, I'll try. All right, all right here so we go. Here's the deal. Well, we will, we'll start playing it. <clears throat> Don't say anything while it's playing. Let the audio, whatever audio there is, play. And when, as soon as we stop and ask you what you've seen over that last few seconds, you recap what you saw. So don't, don't explain it live. Right, right. And then yeah, I'll tell you what, for extra bonus happens. points, if you can guess the actual title of this video, then you win the game entirely. Flat out right. All right, yes. here we go. Yes. Okay. All right, here in we fact, go. In fact, you will, at, at every uh, pause, we will ask you what it's titled. All right, here we go. All right, the video begins here, and it's only a minute long, so we're going to need you to play, give us the dope in 10-second increments. <laughs> I as what, <laughs> what are have you, you watching? seen so far? What are you watching? Okay, I've seen a camera move up towards what looks to be a mailman who's drinking a beer and possibly <laughs> singing along to a boombox. All right, so far, so good. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I as what do you got, buddy? I'm watching that same potential mailman busting a move in front of a picket fence, and he is just 
awesome. Yeah, but what were the if, names? If you can describe some of the moves. What, what were the names doing. of the moves? In fact, I'll let you watch them again here so you can explain to us because all, all dance moves have names. So just give me the name. <laughs> Guys, some, what do you call that? What, what's that move? We got we got some like funky chicken mixed in with some uh, kind of s sassy hand snapping. The sassy <laughs> discarded chicken. Gotcha. Exactly. What's this one? Uh, it looks, looks kind of like a sassy Hail Mary. <clears throat> right. Okay. What's this one here? All right. You did it twice. So what's the name of that move? Typewriter underwear adjustment. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, we got 10 more seconds. <laughs> All right, what was that? What was that? If you need to see it again, what? I'll play it again for you. Uh, all right, what, what do we got here? It, it appears he's looking for his wallet. Okay. And then looking for his beer. <laughs> He is checking, so he... And then, and then he, he finds the beer by tapping it on the top there. <laughs> All right. And then and then but it kind of, kind of gives it a, a dismissive wag. Like, right? uh, like, shame on you, beer. What are you doing to me that I'm continuing to enjoy? All right, but Brian, before you, before you play, uh, I ask, can we get an early guess on what the name of this video is? Uncle Larry at the uh, family picnic. Okay, that's good. Okay. That's good. Not bad. Not bad. All right, next chunk. Here we go. <laughs> That freeze frame is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> all right, Brian, pause it. All right, all right. What are we? What are we seeing? I ask. <laughs> okay, we're seeing an homage to the late great Michael Jackson. Okay. The <laughs> hand and leg groping by the uh, elderly gentleman. Kind and, of a running uh, man in there, right? <laughs> Yeah, a little bit of a running in place there. Before I love the fact, yeah, I love the the fact he, got, he, got goes, he goes two taps on the beer and then gets in an umpire stand. Uh, what, I love, what I love is that Justin tries to give him the credit of saying, oh, he's doing the running man. And Ayaz is like, yeah, he's, uh, he's running in place, yeah. <laughs> Which is a very different thing. All right, here we yeah, go. Yeah, I know he didn't do the hands with running man. But. That's true. <laughs> Okay, what do we got? What do we got here, Ayaz? We, we had another person enter the screen, move over to the right, and I believe that the uh, elderly man is trying to initiate a dance fight. <laughs> it definitely looks that way because he sees the guy. He's like, hey, jerk. Taps what, him. You, <laughs> hey, watch this move. And then, and then he kisses. Ready to go the crane kick and that, virtual dragon back. That's, that, that's actually called the silver surfer. You can't call that one the silver <laughs> surfer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, what just happened? Well, he just walked over to the right and laughed it off, it looks like. Uh, actually, that's a negative. He's being told that he's an embarrassment to his family. Yes. He's being told his granddaughter doesn't love him. All right. Uh, Four. Yes. All right, Ayaz. What we will now do, uh, as you very, yes. very competently described this video, uh, and uh, we encourage everybody to go see it. You can, uh, you'll check it out on the show notes and also on the Wikipedia. But uh, Ayaz, I'm going to give you three guesses. And I, I want you to give, uh, get you know, three possible titles for this video. And in and, fact, and we'll, we'll even go one better. Every word you get right will tell you when you get a right word. How about that? You yes. can lock it in. So, so oh. maybe you want to make your first title very long. And also, uh, <laughs> just a yes or no, up or down question. Was that Jeff Jarvis true or false? <laughs> we'll start with I the easy one. Stunt double, so false. Correct the mundo. All right, good. Off to a good start. Okay, now, your first guess as to the title of this video, Ayas. Uh, the, the, okay. the chat realm suggesting whole lot of mailman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, so I'm going to say... Dancing old man drinks too much. <laughs> All right. Are those words right? Uh, dancing old man drinks too much. No, none of those words. None of those. Nope, not not one word is is a match. You get two. Wow. You get two more guesses. Two more guesses. What do you got? Okay. Hmm. Mailman. 
rocks the pavement slowly. <laughs> Mailman rocks the pavement slowly. Uh, unfortunately, that's actually the name of my autobiography, but not <laughs> this video. <laughs> Uh, yeah, unfortunately, total number of words you got right, still zero. Now, you never know. Aww. You could just nail this one, Ayaz. Just look at it, and I'm sure it'll come to you. All right, let, let me watch a little bit more. Let me see if I can find something. The effects of beer on the elderly. <clears throat> uh, Brian, yeah. by my calculation, that is... Zero words. Zero, Zero words. words. All three yeah. together. Oh. Uh, all, all words. Uh, the actual answer, Ayaz, this video is called Grandpa Gets Way More Ass Than You Do. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were close, though. <laughs> you were okay. close. Oh. Well it played, so though. obvious. It is. I'll tell you what. Either way, Ayaz, you did a fantastic job. And uh, the answer, of course, is yes. He totally does. <laughs> yeah, clearly, dude. Come on, man. And when has you... since the Great Depression. When you could do the broken typewriter or the, uh, <laughs> I say we name all of these moves. The chicken clap, <laughs> the, 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 the drunken <laughs> challenge, the face yeah. off, well, no, that's, the swoosh. That's, what, that, that's called uh, the, the, silver the morning surfer. star to the silver surfer <laughs> with, a, with, a foot, with a front slide back and then the, dude, the, you, the, the belly touch and a lean in conversation. Uh, yes, this guy is epic and awesome, and I want an animated gif of his dance to be my Twitter avatar from now on. <laughs> I mean, this just seems, you want to know what this seems like? This seems like, like, the, the germs for a bigger meme, doesn't it? Oh, totally. Like now he's dancing, you know, he's, he's dancing and, you know, uh, the Hitler, Hitler's talking about him, he's dancing, you know, next or, to or you know what they do is West they... when he interrupts Taylor Swift. They, they're playing the music, and then it freezes, and then, you know, and, like, it explains how to do the different dance moves. Uh, and plus, it's only a minute long, and guess how many views is this thing's just getting started? 508 views! And it, it, it has the, the, the killer title, of course. Yes, of course, which is another key ingredient. We, uh, if we're buying and selling this on the new viral stock exchange, uh, I'm going to rate <laughs> it a strong buy. A strong buy for Grandpa. Uh, I am too. I'm going to recommend that as a bye 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 uh, times three. So uh, <laughs> nine buys. That's, That's why. Nine wait, them. wouldn't that be wouldn't wouldn't that be like sell? Because if you're like bye bye bye, then you're like hello sell. Uh, uh, no. A, it, well, song. in that case, that I'm saying bye bye sell. Hello bye bye <laughs> bye sell. <laughs> bye, sell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, uh, we, we, we got our main challenge. We got to do the gauntlet here. But first, yeah. uh, first, let's take, uh, take a moment to pay some bills. Uh, guess who's back, bro? Guess who's back? Um, Dr. Dre? No. Um, hold on, I got it. Um, is it? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me do this properly. Let me do this properly. Justin? Yes. Guess who's back as a sponsor for the show? Is he in the mother effing house with a fat D for your MFing mouth? Uh, no, that's no. That's Snoop Doggy Dog. No, that's Snoop Doggy Dog. You're thinking of, uh, uh, or maybe it's Grandpa. <laughs> it may or may not be Grandpa. <laughs> it's, it's this guy, Look as a matter of fact. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's back. The typewriter underwear adjustment. Uh, all right, you got another guess? Who else you got? Um, is it I'll give you a hint. Com? I'll give you a hint. Right there. <laughs> Synergy. Uh, grab rhubarb? It's grab rhubarb. Grab rhubarb. More yeah. specifically. No. Squarespace.com. Listen, Brian, I know all about Squarespace.com. You want to know why? Yeah? There, yeah. I got a new website in the works. You got a new, like a new zone on the web? Like your own little personal web zone? I got, yeah, listen, I, a lot of people know I'm a serial entrepreneur when it comes to websites. You're always selling cereal. I've seen that for sure. I like to make up my websites myself. And I got I just want to let you know, in the last five minutes, I've signed a new client for my new website. Is it Grab Rhubarb? Because no, they're the home of Synergy it's right there. Grandpa just... gets more ass than you, which uh, oddly enough is actually his first name. Or that's his, it's the family name is gets more ass than you, and he is the grandpa of that family. Actually, then you do, I think. 
so here's the deal. I, I signed him to my new website featuring all elderly dancers called Hips Don't Break. <laughs> dot squarespace.com. And it features him and several other elderly dancers as they shake their groove thing in a manner of dances not seen since the jitterbug. Brian, these shuck and jives are so erotic that we had to put an 18 and over label on it. I'm not saying that it's not for the kids. I'm just saying it gives the term mature a whole different dimension if you catch my drift. Uh, I, I believe I do, question mark. Uh, but but the important... I'm winking. For the audio listeners, I'm winking. No, I, it's very difficult to miss your wink. It, it does look like you have uh, some bizarre problem with your face. What is wrong with your face is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but the important thing is, who's going to host this site? Because you know this is going to be popular in the over 50 demographic, the We've over 60 got demographic, our own the our own over Reddit category. 70 demographic, the it's over 80... Silver Shakers! The <laughs> over 80 demographic, the over 90 demographic. It's, it's blown up, The Brian. over 100 demographic. Com. You want to know why? Because it never goes down. I gun doesn't matter. You can have a billion sites to get a billion hits a day every single day. It's never gonna shut down. It's never gonna slow down. It's never gonna give you up. It's never gonna make you cry. Okay? Never gonna tell a lie. Com is the place to be if you want to make sure that 100% uptime is happening in your life all the time. Okay? All right, but here's it's the problem. Dependable as a silver fox out on the dance floor doing the burning. Justin, Justin, here's the problem, yeah. bro. Look, this is a great idea. Everybody wants to see. Seasoned uh, grown-ups uh, possibly having um, erotic foreplay, but whoa on the dance floor. On the dance floor. Well, well, I mean, this is let's face it. It's I mean, that's what dancing is. It's a cultural form of advertising. One's goods. <clears throat> um, yes. Problem though, buddy. These th these goods are tried and tested. You you are kid tested, mother approved. You and are. I don't know whether that's appropriate to say, but you, I just said it. You are fundamentally mentally broken. You don't have the cognitive capacity to wrap your mind around. I bet you don't even know what HTML stands for, man. You're I you're don't. an idiot. No. You're a no. dunce. You're a dummy. Here's what you I are do. a moron. Here's what I do. You I are stupid com. beyond words. You are the dumbest person I've ever met in my entire life. You are perfectly incapable of doing anything smart at all. How are you going to build this site? Because you're so dumb. Squares, squarespace? Oh, oh, you're saying that Squarespace.com is so easy that even a Justin Robert Young could make an amazing looking website. You're saying that their templates are so top notch that even somebody who doesn't understand HTML can put together a site that looks like it was created by a team of professionals that'll be robust, that'll be easy to update from any computer no matter where you are with the scalable hosting. Is that what you meant to say, Justin? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Squarespace.com. Head on over to squarespace.com uh, slash NSFW. Now, it's important that you go to that website because the, go ahead and sign up for your free two-week trial. You don't have to give a credit card. You don't have to do any of that business. Make up an awesome, hilarious website because between you and me, Justin is a smart, brilliant, brilliant genius who never follows through on any of his ideas. So you can steal away sexy silver Stop foxes. It. No, that's Squarespace. It's called, it's don't break. That's Squarespace.com, and it's all mine, and no one can sign up for it. Sexy Especially silver foxes right at Squarespace.com. Sure signed up. Hips don't break. That's Squarespace.com. Visit it for all your over fifty grinding needs. Sexy silver foxes. Dot Are you setting up a competing site? Uh, listen, I just had this amazing idea. It's about sexy silver foxes on the dance floor. That's it, not. No, that I, was my idea, and you're ripping it off. No, you're, I, I you're don't, a thief in the night. You, I don't, you, you back the Brinks truck up I, I don't, to my hen house, and you're putting all the hens I don't, in your I don't Brinks think, truck. I, no, I don't think so. I, I don't think. Uh, in fact, my team's already. Screw your truck. I'm, 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 uh, I'm over there. Uh, like, uh, I've got my team finding the best looking old person already. Um, so, yeah, we totally got it. We're good. Stop it. You're a thief and a liar. You're a liar baron. You're a baron of lies. And you sit on your throne and lie to your <laughs> subjects who are also lies. So you just compound them and create more subjects. Squarespace.com. Go visit it because it's great. And everybody has websites there. All right. You, you know what's it? great? You know what's great? 
If he's uh, yeah, yeah, look at look at look at Ayas. Uh, this Ayas. is our last Squarespace. <laughs> no way. I, Sexy I, I, I'm, I'm just impressed that Nuggets Shakes Fries Wook dot Squarespace dot com was created. Uh, did, during, did it already it? happen? It's already through. Uh, and Grandpa gets more ass dot square, Squarespace. Oh my God! There it is. Nuggets Shakes so right Fries now. Wookies <laughs> or Wook dot Squarespace dot com. We got nuggets. Uh, we got shakes. Shakes. We got fries, yeah, friendship just, fries, and we got a Wookiee. So NSFW. And, and, and wow. Hey, there we go. See, it's the fast and easy way. That even a Wookiee could do it. Absolutely. Now I insulted the Wookiees. All right, Justin, hit me up, man. What, what, look, here's the thing. Ayaz, he's great, but look at him, man. He's got too much optimism. He's got too much joy in his heart. He's soft. He doesn't have dead journalist's eyes yet. And if you're going to be on Tech News Today, the number one daily tech news show on Ever. this planet in the history Without of fail. mankind, uh, you got to be a little bit dead inside. You got you to gotta have the eye of the tiger, the thrill of the fight. Okay. Why are you okay. keep telling him like he's dead? Like you need to hollow, sir. You need to hollow out your soul if you're going to be <laughs> I, in this I can game. work on being dead okay. inside. That's no problem. No, uh, yeah, he's totally. not working at off. Auschwitz, Brian. He's hosting a tech podcast. He just needs to be prepared. Oh, I mean, oh, I see. It's just a tech podcast now. Huh? Just yes. a tech oh. podcast. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, if you want it to be yeah. just a tech podcast, you can let him deliver his news in a timely and effective manner. But I you say to make sure that he's prepared, that he's brought all of his pencil and papers and, and sharpeners and uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to school. That's what we need. All right. Done and done. Yes. Let's do this. Uh, all right. So, so I, so here's what we did. We, we created a bunch of very, very realistic, real world tech news stories that could break at any time during tech news huh? today. All right, okay. so you just need to be on the ball. We're going to pretend this is a simulated tech, uh, tech News Today kind of program. So we're going to start, uh, we're going to start talking, and we're going to have a breaking news. Uh, I'm going to read the breaking news, and you and Brian are going to have to have an on-the-spot conversation about it, and you can't sound out of your element, all right? You understand? Else, this is a bad... Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, yes. oh. What? Really? Really? I has. I has. Come on, buddy. You go in, you go in. If Leo Laporte was here, he would have slapped that microphone right off your face. He exactly. would not tolerate that. He would have made that. you eat it. He would have been like, eat that better? mic. Yes, it is we better. We eat our mistakes here at Twitch. <laughs> 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 this is good, though. It's a good step He's to like, make you a little more. You eat your mic or I eat you. <laughs> I'm going to eat your soul either way, said Lee Southern. Um, <laughs> all right, you ready? Are you ready? Because here's the way it's going to go. All right, so here, now let's just, uh, uh, we're just talking, right? Hey, Brian, what's going on? Uh, hey, buddy. What? Wait, are we, I thought we were, we're not simulating oh, yeah, you our show. To, let's go to our regularly scheduled program. No, I was about to say, because, because this, is, this would be our show is us talking. Yes, we course, need something yeah. to simulate. It's just regular, plain old, like, okay, Content. we're here in the middle of... Regular old tech news today, doing the regular stuff. Here we go. Special report. Ryan, special report coming into the tech news today studios. Report: dangerously irradiated components from Japan has just been said to uh, have affected the latest batch of iPods, iPhones, iPads, and naked lady novelty pens. Officials recommend extreme caution. What do you think about this, Bry? Oh, my goodness. Can I get that report one more time, Justin? It was a little bit tough to hear. A uh, new report says the dangerously irradiated components from Japan are uh, officially affected iPods, iPhones, iPads, and naked lady novelty pens with unhealthy doses of radiation that could be harmful to humans. Officials recommend extreme caution. Tears have been shed. Novelty pens have been violated. We go now for the special reports to none other than Ayaz, right there at the live at the Twit Studios. Ayaz, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Now, what we're, what we're hearing from the industry is that the odds of a naked lady pen novelties will actually turn into applications for your smartphone because you can't actually get the pens coming out of Japan. So this is the new trend, and if you're out there and you're developing an app, this is probably where you can make some money. 
Uh, I failed to hear any mention of the so-called <laughs> radiation leaked upon these pens and pads. And In fact, it, it seems as if you're saying that this is a great opportunity for app developers <laughs> and that <laughs> the radiation poisoning that would surely affect everybody well, buying the most I popular consumer products in history is really uh, no consequence. Is that correct? I don't... I don't control the industry. I'm just hearing what the industry tells me, and that is what they're telling me. Apparently, the industry does not give a damn about the irradiated anything and want to sell apps. Uh, right. uh, Brian, can we can we calm that down? All right, let's let's just go. We're stopping. We're stopping the simulation. Oh, yeah, you're because we're putting it on pause. So I'm giving I'm giving this one a D so far. I should not hit play on this. No, just to, because Brian, I just want I want to just I mean we're coaching IS right. Yeah. All right. No. All right. I'm I, saying I, I'm saying it's a D. Trending on F, what? and that's not even an F like a regular F. That's a Southern F, which is lower than a regular. Okay, F. hold on. As somebody who grew up in the South, I don't seem to understand the metaphor. So wait, it's like F, and then F. Oh, that's, F. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought okay. I thought you were saying something and I'm bad saying about that Southern. Right now, we're looking at F. Do you agree? Yeah. Uh, right? uh, this uh, is look. Terrible. Uh, Come on! He told he told everybody who who bought an iPod for Christmas. Hey, I bought my three year old an iPod for Christmas because he loves it. Oh, it is radiation poisoning. Oh no, his skull's melting. Oh, his jaw <laughs> fell on the floor. And I is saying, Hey, you want to build an app? Now's the time. <laughs> that was just like me, Justin. You know that's exactly how I talk. And uh, I should have tried it with that accent instead. Calm down. Calm down, Ayaz. Listen, this is all constructive criticism. Don't worry. You're going to have a lot of chances to get back. Uh, to the yeah, game. I got to disagree with you, all Justin. Right. I thought he focused on the positive. You can't have everything be doom and gloom. We're not a, 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 one of those networks that just everything's all pouty, McPoop, and pants. You've got you to find the bright side, and uh, Tweet could definitely use some of that sunny disposition. I gave you a C++, which uh, <laughs> is a programming language. <laughs> and so I'm trying to cater to the twin audience like that. <laughs> All right, Brian. Well, let's go back to the regular schedule. Okay, program. if we can please get back to our regular tech news today. I'm sorry, this just in. We go now to our East Coast correspondent live in the virtual Twit East studios. We go to Justin Robert Young. Justin, what is happening over there, sir? Brian, very surprising news coming out of the uh, west coast of California today. The Winklevoss twins have successfully combined their powers in the form of, of an ostrich. What does this mean for Facebook and the rest of the social media landscape? We go to Iaz at Twit. Iaz? Well, the Winkle Winklevoss twins have been gunning for Facebook for a very long time, and now with their powers as an ostrich, <laughs> the world is just stunned because ostriches usually don't have stakes in things like a social network. So the courts are trying to figure out exactly if they still get their $65 million settlement since animals can't have money. <laughs> oh, my God. Just kick it back to one of us, I as in your home free. Back to you, Brian. Oh, my God. That was amazing. All right, game's on pause. Justin, seriously. Yes. Seriously. You're not going to hate on that, are you? I'll tell you what. You want to know? You are at F. Now you're yeah, at G. A. Hey. Is, you know what? Is a, which is a, 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 an A. Ooh. That's higher than the highest peak. That was great. That was fantastic. And also, listen, li what I liked about it is that you brought the news. Now, a lot of people don't know that animals can't own money, but now we do. And that is very important. Uh, and I love the fact that he did not bat an eye, man. He was, he was, he was dead inside, which is important to me. <laughs> well, you and the dead inside. Why? Why does every journalist uh, have to be I'm, a hollowed out Twinkie? I'm going to say by the way, this. Everybody, everybody in the chat room has pointed out you went from a southern F to a Canadian A. <laughs> southern F to a Canadian Fonzie A. Style. I like the Fonzie style. Though. Hey. <clears throat> you, uh, I'm going to say you went from an F to a yeah. So it was like <laughs> yeah. F yeah, like that. Uh, <laughs> great across the board, but if you don't mind, I'd like to watch more of my favorite daily tech news show, Tech News Today, right here on the Twit Network. Hey, Tom Uh, tragic news coming in from our East Coast affiliate. We're going to go now live for breaking coverage to Mr. Justin Robert Young out of Florida. Justin Robert Young, what can you report? 
Brian, this is just coming off the wire. It's a blast for the past. MySpace has locked out all new users and has Flash rebranded themselves as a place to reconnect with your friends from 2006 and only 2006. For what this means to today's media user, we go to Ayaz from Twit. Ayaz? Well, the world is stunned to finding out that MySpace still does exist, considering that Friendster was making a comeback at this time. These people that are stuck in 2006 are very excited to get together, and they don't want to leave their MySpace since it is 2006 in their heads forever. Back to you, Justin. So, uh, one follow-up question. Are you saying that this is specifically relevant to people who are time traveling back and forth through 2006 and need to recover very important clues to free themselves from the continuum? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the clarification. We now rejoin our regularly scheduled program, Tech News Today, starring Tom Merritt and Sarah Lane. All right, let me just say this. I was not feeling the love for Ayaz. I, I, I thought he kicked it back too early. I think he bunted. He, had, he did a good job on the response. Didn't roll with it longer. You got to roll up like you're a pig in filth, and you're just like, rub all over my, my space, and then hand it back to Justin. But when you, when you try to toss that hot potato right in Justin's stupid-looking face, he batted <laughs> it back to you. And then you slapped it down on the ground and said, game's over, and you walked away. And that's what I wanted to see from a dead-eyed reporter. <laughs> that was well done, my good friend. I really think <laughs> that you have the wrong attributes in mind for a journalist. He's not a trained assassin I, who needs to murder children. I, like, he's a, it's he's always who needs to explain as a the news. Like, they don't need to be like a, a bank agent from the Depression repossessing houses from people in the dust. Uh, he needs to explain tech news. Look, bro, I'm saying you run into a lot of stuff. Man, when I was working <laughs> for LL, we learned how to find journalists. And I'm just saying he's starting to look more like a journalist. He's got the eye of the tiger. I'm just saying, his soul doesn't need to whistle when wind blows, Bryant, because it's hollow. Uh, journalist. Uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, what, what grade are you going to give him, Justin? Do you want to know what? I thought that was, that was, that was pretty good. Uh, I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm going to give it a, a B. You're you know what? I thought it started off strong and then got weak, but ended strong. So I'm going to give it a B. <laughs> like you? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> so, giving it, a, giving it the old you, making it the old you. You the did a great job, I <laughs> I give him a check plus minus. That's what I give him. <laughs> uh, now, if you guys don't mind, can we stop talking? Because I wanted to watch my favorite show filled with insightful exactly. commentary Matt from folks Weekly, like starring Andy and not and Leo Laporte. Let's return to that regular schedule program. <laughs> Oh my goodness, dreadful news hitting the wires at this time. We interrupt our regularly scheduled program for something far more urgent, far more important, perhaps of life-quaking, earth-shaking, booty-making consequences. We go now live to our East Coast correspondent, Justin Roberts Young. Brian, stunning news coming off the wire. A disturbing story from a Modesto area Best Buy where a manager was arrested for forcing a prospective customer to do the Bernie before taking an iPad 2 out of storage. Uh, details are still coming in on this, but there's a possibility it may have been naked and in front of a school bus. Uh, for context on this and also other issues that Best Buy has had in relation to the iPad 2, we go to Twit Ayaz. Ayaz, can you give us some more detail on this? Well, unfortunately, due to the nature of the Bernie, we cannot actually describe this. You're going to have to check out something like UrbanDictionary.com to determine exactly what was going on. All I can say is that uh, the children that were in the school bus were as pale as I look right now after <clears throat> seeing that. Uh, I ask, if I may interrupt for just a moment, we do have coming over the wire and an urgent update. We have live footage of people actually doing the Bernie. With your insight, we cut now to this live dance footage. I as please describe <laughs> the footage you're looking at. What are you watching, I as? Appear apparently, the Bernie is way worse than we imagined. It appears <laughs> to be a zombie-style dance. Uh, I believe that they are—they've been bitten and they've lost a lot of control. It is quite, quite sad. 
<laughs> it seems to be happening in suburban areas somewhere down south. Uh, it may be spreading <laughs> to urban areas. All right. <laughs> uh, Back to you, Justin. Uh, are you seeing that? I think we're off. No, that's fine. Look, this is it's called being pro, bro. I'm recording this. Just keep on going. Like nothing's like you're moving it like Bernie. Keep no, going. No, I mean, is that a way to describe IAS's performance? Because that's how <laughs> I describe it. It was a little bit <laughs> off. Yeah, he did seem a little bit off now that I think about it. Uh, yeah. But you know what? In fact, you know what? I'm going to give IAS for the fact that number one, he had no idea what the Bernie was and rolled with it. Number two, the fact that he did not react to the fact that we were off the air, but you did. And so I'm going to say you got an A++, and you are staying after school. You got an unacceptable for behavior. I'm not being graded, Brian. Uh, you, okay. are now, you are now, bro. You just oh, got, and you know oh, what? You're going to okay. play the game, right? You're going to play the rules. Maybe you need to get graded sometimes. You, you want another oh, detention? Yeah. I'll give you another detention. Oh, listen, you're, you got a detention. All right, that's another one. That's state. another one. That's you're another one. Detained. That's that's oh, five you know detentions. I'm you're up to. I'm gonna add another one on top of that. That's by the way. I'm that's, gonna back. I'm gonna back the gold. I'm gonna back a flatbed full of detentions. And I'm you just got the turkey right detention. That's department. all ten detentions. You want you another got, turkey? You got eleven. You want the golden I goose? Do eleven in one in one bite. I'm gonna airdrop eleven detentions like I was airdropping food and I was the UN and this was Rwanda. So all right, chat room, you guys heard Justin will be doing a live after show every single night for the next eleven days. I hope you guys look forward to it. Um, but uh, what what grade would you give Ayaz? Uh I would go ahead and give Ayaz on that one a, uh, you know, I'm going to give it a C. No way, dude. He a was, decisive C? An indecisive C? He was perfect. And I made wow. him love. Describe how he was perfect. Was it because he, he didn't know what the Bernie was? Was it because uh, he needed visual aids? He needed other people to, to, to pick him up when he fell he, down? Is that it? You know what this was? This was some kind of Kobayashi Maru thing. This was space camp. He was supposed to pretend to get in the space shuttle, but then the space shuttle really took off when we had a full-on break and lost our connection with the live audience. And guess what? This guy, cool under fire. He's doing SOS on the control panel with the little talking robot oh, can see oh, back oh, in Mission oh, Control. Oh, oh, you, minute, buddy, wait, you're wait, like, wait a whoa, are we up in space? So when this all comes out and they've already heard us have this conversation, so now we're referring back to it again for the live audience. I'm saying That's there's a reason. That's yeah. professional, my friend. There's a reason. Congratulations. You've just earned yourself six demerits. <laughs> and I'll see you <laughs> oh, in yeah? detention on Saturday, my well, friend. Well, I'll tell you what. If you want to practice what you preach, then you better get to the sermon, my friend. Well, fine. But I'm taking away four points from Gryffindor. So suck on that. You want to know what? I'm going to go ahead and deduct... 50 Dictari credits from your account, mister. Uh, do you know what? You will not be allowed to play in the preseason at all, and you'll be lucky if you start once for the team. Okay, uh, you want to go get those power converters at the Taji station? Whoop! Guess who's stuck with a whole Hanno on an Amparoo? <laughs> wow, you just went there. You you <laughs> killed the only parents I knew. I was going to make you stay for after school detention, and you just thought, you know what? I'm going to go with this crazy old wizard I as. I'm going to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. All right? <laughs> so long, jerk face. I'm going to go back to watching my favorite show. <laughs> Terribly sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled program. We have breaking news, the likes of which has never been seen in Valhalla. Descending from the Rainbow Bridge of Asgard, landing in the penis-like tip of Florida, it is just a Robert Rubles. Justin? Huge news out of the tech sector today, Brian. CEO of Apple, Steve Jobs, he who has had massive health problems over the past couple years and is currently on a leave of absence, has reportedly done a cartwheel. For the significance of this, we go to Iaz at Twit. Steve Jobs does a cartwheel. What does it mean? Well, we don't have any confirmation to what exactly caused the cartwheel, but there are tons of speculation all over the blogs. People are saying that it's a hint telling you how thin the next iPad will be. <laughs> Some think there's no wrong way to hold Steve, so when he turns over, it works that way. I mean, the theories are all over the place, and the blogosphere is just blowing up right now. You should check out the Twitter stream right now. Back to you, Brian. Fantastic coverage was from Twit's own Iaz, and I'm going to stop right now to offer you a standing belly clap. Not only, not only 
<laughs> Fantastic coverage. But even more importantly, you were able to throw in some wild speculation, which was fantastic. You were on point. You stuck to the tech. You weren't all worried about the man. It's like we wanted to know about the gizmo. Come on, man. Well Absolutely. done, sir. Uh, now, the Ooh. one thing, if you could, and, and I don't want to nitpick perfection here, but uh, we're nitpick. getting some, some, uh, some notes from the chat realm. Was it a, a full cartwheel or did he do the round off? We don't know. It would have been nice to kind of get some sort of speculation on there, but otherwise, fantastic job. You, sir, are aces. Thank you. I, I, was, I, I, did, I should have thought about the whole cartwheel. I should have mentioned that YouTube, there was clips of this. Ah, the <laughs> that's, that's fine, man. No, that was excellent. Uh, Justin, do we have time? Because uh, before the show ends, I would like to just catch just a little bit of iPad Today. iPad Today is on. I just want to watch a little bit of it. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go to that. Oh, thank uh, you. iPad Today starring Sarah Lane and yes. uh, Leo Laporte begins now. Yes. Important news coming from the most unlikely of sources. <laughs> uh, Justin. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Huge news coming in from the financial sector today. The Winklevostridge. Yes, the combined ostrich from the powers of both Winklevoss twins has closed a massive round of $37 million in first round funding for a new mobile social network focused on booking the Winklevostridge at birthday parties for children. Can this mean a shakeup in the entire Silicon Valley sector? For analysis, we go to Iaz of Twit. Iaz. Well, the world is a buzz about the Winkle Vostridge, and the fact is, lots of clowns and other entertainers like magicians are quite angry. Uh, there's one particular magician who's very upset. He's losing all his bookings. His name is Brian Brushwood. I heard he's, he's actually made death threats on the Winkle Vostridge. We're going to have to keep looking into this. Back to you, Justin. Uh, that is fantastic, Ayaz. Thank you for joining us. And time. All right. I'll tell you what, if it was cool to give you two standing belly claps in a row, you want to know what? I'm going to do it anyway. There we go. <laughs> Although I'm going to give you, I'm going to, I'm going to give you half a demerit, Justin, because you had the opportunity. You had Brian Brushwood on the line. You could have got the interview and put him in a gotcha interview situation. You didn't kick it back to him. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Brian Brushwood's feelings are newsworthy now. That's yeah. what we do on, on Twit. <laughs> we, we, we see if, hey, hey, uh, Brian Brushwood. All right, let me do the interview. Brian, you want to get interviewed? Here we go. Brian, has this news left you more or less pink than you were before? <laughs> I'm not going to put the camera back on myself because I've been laughing so hard. I've turned really pink. <laughs> uh, Brian, uh, Brian, in relation to your pinkness, how would you describe your feelings? <clears throat> um, hold on. Uh, let me see the if I can find on you. There you coward! <laughs> there you we go. Coward. No, put it on you, the, the person. Uh, no, no. I, I think oh, it's you're uh... a spineless jelly of a man. No, you are a scum sucking. There cow. we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, you. we're ready. Don't we're ready. Behind your well, your, your unicorn, your gay unicorn avatar. I'm ready to. I'm ready to discuss this. I think it's important that we have this out. Brian. Uh, you're the one who wanted to be interviewed. You're the other one where like, oh, I have only one demerit, and that is that I did not get to be interviewed during the segment. Oh, bother. <laughs> <laughs> you got something to ask? Ask him. <laughs> so, unicorn... <laughs> What this thing? Yeah, can we pan know. down? Or is that, is that give us an explicit tag? <laughs> um, you can see enough. <laughs> I've, I've seen enough. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> are, are we? Are we? Uh, uh, do, do we have? Do we have time for one more? Or we? Uh, how are we I doing? think that was it. I think that was the break news. Unless you want me to come up with one. On uh, the no, uh, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That may, in fact, have been the most successful gauntlet passing of anything. I mean, you, you didn't just pass the gauntlet. You passed a gauntlet stone. That's how amazing <laughs> you were. Uh, well done, sir. Uh, man, what do you want? So, so we got to have a graduation ceremony or something, right, guys? Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Ayaz, I would like to officially welcome you to uh, the, the, the twit. Not only, listen, you were working at Tech News Today before, but now and only now, 
Are you a true knight of news whose soul is pure and full of mirth and merriment and not an empty husk as Brian would lead you to believe <laughs> and has badgered you into becoming a dark Sith Lord which would not look twice at shooting a child in the face for uh, holding back on a news source. So do you, sir, I say... Congratulations and celebrations. Oh. And, of course, a hell theme. Stop worrying about my acting, bitch. <laughs> that's there from, the that's from King Leo right there. From Leo himself. That's, uh, that's, that's good. Uh, it's very exciting when he shows up to these graduation ceremonies. You'll be getting your ceremonial Diamond Club bin any moment. Uh, until then, where can people see you? I suppose every day on Tech News Today, where else? You can find me on Twitter. I'm at I-S I-Y-A-Z. I am not the singer. If you want the singer, that's at I-S Live. Get it straight. All right. There you go. And, uh, and uh, Justin, uh, you got anything to wrap up before we go to next week? Next week, we're going to be at a different time. We're going to have to be on Wednesday, right? Wednesday. You're going to be doing some traveling? Uh, yeah, I'm going out on the road with Andrew Maine. If you are in either Pittsburgh, Columbus, the Cincinnati area, or Cleveland, please go over to andrewmaine.com slash lectures, and you'll see all the dates there. But we're going to be there from Thursday to Monday uh, doing a magic lecture, so you'll be able to see me. We'll be out you can, uh, you know, give me a shout at Justin R. Young on Twitter. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Uh, that, was, that was my fault because somebody in the chat room, someone in the chat room said, you should go to 105.9, the cap for the closing. And as I click it, I thought, doesn't that site auto-load? And isn't there no way to turn down the volume on it? And why am I trusting this person again? And then I screwed up your whole thing. So if you could continue, Justin. Cut this out, Tony. <laughs> yeah, cut that out, please. Oh, uh, also, everybody, Grendel's Shadow, the book uh, from my friend Andrew Maynard I'm going on the road with, is uh, right now on Amazon. We are going to have physical books like I have in my hand available very, very, very soon. And also, uh, please uh, get ready because in the next week or so, we're going to start loading up the audio book, which I have recorded all by myself uh, up on iTunes. It's going to be free. It's a 10-week thing, or you can buy the whole audio book. For five bucks, we have more information on that coming up. So follow me, Justin R. Young, and you'll get all that kind of information. Uh, I got two things to promote real quick. In the event that you are hearing this before Thursday, which usually happens, uh, Tony does pretty good on the turnaround. But if it is earlier than about midday on Thursday, then make sure to head on over to the YouTube.com slash live page where you can see me hosting a live uh, scam school show. We're going to talk some some scam school Q and A. Uh, may or may not tell a certain uh, possibly illegal story. And uh, and also make sure to head on over to facebookcom schwood because I have finally taken the jump. I have given up on having a personal page and instead I have a public profile, which means everybody. I think I mixed up those phrases. Uh, it means everybody can follow along now. So I'd love to play along in your your fabulous Facebook game. So make sure to head on over and give me a like, and I'll be your best friend for the rest of the days. But until then, that is it for this episode of NS. FW. Congratulations to newly minted gumshoe reporter. I as well done, my good friend. Congratulations. You nailed it. You rocked it. Now go out there and spread joy to the world. Will do. See you next Tuesday. Or Wednesday. Tide of fire.